I'm assuming that Coke Zero or Diet Coke is not okay on a fast day. So this is one of those times where I'm going to tell you what I did, and then I'm, I'm going to tell you what the general recommendation is. So I was a Diet Coke addict. I mean, so bad. I drank way too much Diet Coke. It was Diet Coke and coffee, and that's what fueled me while I was running my tech startup. I had, like, it's, it's embarrassing, probably like four, maybe five in a day. And then on top of that, like a couple, two, three cups of coffee. And then I had a Starbucks and my Starbucks was like sugar with like a side of coffee, like a caramel macchiato or frappuccino or whatever, right? That was my day of drink. I barely got any water. It was awful. Um, so when I started fasting, it was really hard for me to just kick Diet Coke out. And to be honest, when I was like, huh, Diet Coke is technically zero calories. Like, you know, I should be okay. Now, there wasn't a lot of information about Diet Coke and intermittent fasting back then. Again, 2015, 2016. Um, so I will admit that I absolutely drank Diet Coke uh, at the start of my journey. I found that I saw more success when I drank more water. Wouldn't you know? So that's when I actually started transitioning to flavored sparkling water. And I found that sp sparkling water actually helped kick my Diet Coke addiction because the carbonation made me feel full and there was like a little bit of sweetness with the water that kind of gave me the little bit that I needed that I don't get with regular water. So over time, I did not need Diet Coke, but I did have Diet Coke in like special occasions in my fasting windows. So if I went to the movies with friends and it landed on a fast day, the smell of popcorn in a movie theater is hard to do when you're fasting. So I would allow myself a Diet Coke. If I went to a social, like a wine mixer or something like that, or I had an investor like cocktail hour and everybody had something in their hands, I would have a Diet Coke um, in my hands with like uh, with a lemon or something like that. And uh, so those were really the only times that I had Diet Coke. But I did have Diet Coke in my fasting windows in my journey. I do not have Diet Coke now. Um, and the reason for that is any opportunity I can get to drink more water, I do. Um, my rule of thumb with anything that has artificial sweetener in it is I find it that it's okay as long as I'm the one that's putting the sweetener in it so that I know how much is going in my drink, like my coffee. I pour in, like I, I pour in my stevia. But with Diet Cokes and drinks that have, that are artificially sweetened, and I'm not talking about flavored sparkling water, which is like an aroma. Um, we have no idea how much sweetener they're putting in. And now while it's technically zero calories, the issue with it is it actually makes it harder to fast. You get hungrier. There are tons of studies that show that sweetener actually makes you want to eat. It makes you get hungrier. So we want to limit how much of that we have. Also, you know, there are studies that show that um, sweet things or artificial sweetener can have some kind of insulin response. I've talked about this in a previous live it's not enough to like change the course of your fast or make it less effective but it can have a response and so we're trying to minimize that whenever possible and diet coke is just one of those things that doesn't net net have a benefit now if you were addicted like i was then taking my strategy might be helpful where you're working to wean yourself off of it with the goal of progress not perfection and working your way towards not having it at some point the key, though, is no judgment. There, I, I have zero judgment for you if, if you decide that's what you want to do. Um, but I want you to know all the information surrounding it so you can make that decision for yourself.